If you don't want to get leukemia, stop drinking energy drinks. So this week's bull comes to us from TikTok. Shocker! And we have the account Madison Working Mom. I don't know what her last name is, but apparently she's a physician assistant. And this video has 3 million views. You drink any energy drinks. Alani, Celsius, Monster, <gasps> Red Bull. Don't with my monster lady. First of all, my name's Madison Brown. I'm a family medicine ah, physician Madison assistant Brown. There we go. that's been working in medicine for the past 14 years. So let me just clarify, physician assistant, no actual training in reading and interpreting research literature and no formal nutrition training, but I digress. A new study in the journal Nature that just came out last month looked at an ingredient in these popular energy drinks called taurine and found some pretty disturbing findings when it comes to cancer as if I needed another reason to love coffee. So what it found was that the chemical taurine actually ex- By the way, an amino acid produced by your body, I think you produce like, I, I wanna say like 70 grams of taurine a day, or there's like 70 grams of taurine like naturally in your body. But anyways. Accelerates the growth of leukemia cells and lung cancer cells. Now understand that I'm not saying it causes leukemia or lung cancer, that is not the case, but what it okay. did was it caused folks who, which was actually folks. wasn't done in- Folks, oh, oh, and she says it wasn't done in people. Yeah, because it was done in mice. Actually, it was done using mice to implant, I believe implant tumors, then harvest their bones, and then do in vitro with these cells and taurine. Boy. That is very applicable to folks. So I'm just going to stop right there because I can tell you I had difficulty reading and interpreting this study. So there is no way this lady read this study. She read the headlines and made a TikTok. No different than pretty much anybody else on TikTok or Instagram. But hey, that's why I'm here to give you guys no bull****. Here's the problem. They were not giving these animals taurine and seeing leukemia accelerate. In leukemia cells, it appears that they can use the taurine your body produces naturally as a fuel. This is the case with other compounds as well. For example, amino acids like aspartic acid or glutamic acid can be used by cancer cells as fuel. Now I can say to people, oh my goodness, aspartic acid feeds cancer. Therefore, don't eat any protein whatsoever. But cancer is far more complicated than that. And not only did she not point this stuff out, she also didn't point out the research that actually shows that taurine actually may have anti-tumorigenic effects as well. And that it may increase the effectiveness of certain chemotherapies. I am not saying you should consume taurine, but her making this video and getting you scared of taking an energy drink because it has taurine. Now the average 70 kilogram person has approximately 70 grams of taurine in their body at any given time. The intake of taurine through the diet for most people is anywhere from 40 to 400 milligrams per day, which is less than half a gram at the highest dose. So the body makes or keeps around 70 grams per day, and you're worried about less than half a gram. One 140th of what is already present in the body. So this study does not say that energy drinks feed leukemia, especially because it wasn't in humans, it was kind of in mice, but mostly in vitro, and because taurine has been shown to also have anti-tumorigenic effects, it obviously is a very complicated subject and not black and white like she's making it. So my advice to her is, hey, if you want to put out clinical information because you're a physician assistant, cool, but stay away from research interpretation. This isn't your forte, and like I said, I had difficulty understanding this paper, and I have a long history of conducting, evaluating, and synthesizing research literature. Also, hands off my monster, lady.